it was not a very smooth and easy start because I'm an, an international student and a lot of my friends are local students. So there's some things that I couldn't relate to. So I was quite alone, especially with the recruitment stages. I would say I applied to about like 50 to 70 applications. Honestly, I, I've not kept count of it because it's a lot. It's like my daily routine. I wake up in the morning. I just go on LinkedIn, go on hiring website and just search for jobs and apply immediately. It was really hard, I would say. I didn't get the first interview I did or even the subsequent ones, I would say. And that's where I really, really struggle a lot. And just like everyone else as an international student, I became lost. And a lot of time, I would say I am mostly stuck at the video interview stages. I always fail to make it true. So that was my whole struggle with my job hunting. I know I'm like behind my peers who already went through a vocational program. So their jobs are secure. But for myself, if different, I need to start again and probably on my own. I was definitely stressed, especially, you know, hearing a lot of people say, oh, you got to start early. I do not have anyone to actually tell me or guide me and say these are the problems that you are gonna face so be ready or you know there's no guidebook when i started my job hunting journey i was not familiar with the interview answer guide so i wasn't well prepared because again i had to do everything on my own so there was no one to actually tell me i also do not know what the recruiters are looking for i didn't really the good understanding, which is why I struggle a lot. I just went into it and then failed and then I didn't know what to do until I actually came across grad jobs on LinkedIn. So that was where it really helped me, you know, put me back on the right track and really helped me understand like just everything. That was one thing I actually learned as well on like why I didn't always make it past the video interview stage because I did not reach out to anyone on LinkedIn. Do not be afraid to reach out to anyone, even if you don't know that person. They're the best buddy in your job hunting journey. And it's really good to have someone accompanying you on this journey. Yeah, there's <laughs> countless of opportunities out there. And honestly, in this generation, we are spoiled for choices. So it is really important for us to know how to use those opportunities and how to reach out to those opportunities effectively and efficiently. And obviously it is by networking. It's important to think about what can make you stand out and what is unique about you. So I was just like everyone else. I was really desperate and I could only think of like, oh, what nice words can I say in my answers that will impress them? But I realized that was not what the interviewers are looking for. One of the main thing I wish I knew earlier was the online networking. I wish online networking was more emphasized when I first started out because I felt like that really helped a lot in my whole like job hunting journey. There's a lot of questions that I've always asked, what do actually recruiters look for in my answers? Like, how do we know? You don't really know what interviewers like or like to hear or doesn't like to hear. So there's a lot of like confusion around there and for that, no matter how prepared I was before I think I joined the grad jobs, I just couldn't figure it out what's wrong because I used the star technique and it didn't work. So I was wondering what happened. I was very happy that I came across grad jobs pretty early. I have met many people before you and I still haven't you know, gotten the answer. So it's also another difficulty for me or anyone else to really find the right person to talk to mm -hmm. for this advice and tips and tricks from there. You have helped me a lot if you want to make good use of the program and also actually just to help yourself a lot and eventually you never know you can help others as well so that's just my advice speaking of ishita she was really really helpful i i think she played the biggest part in my whole like interview preparation she actually went through like an interview round with me practiced a lot and then taught me how should i answer and what video would want to hear. I was really lucky that Mackenzie in introduced the right person at the right time. I got to meet her and practice the interview with her and she gave me a lot of good tips and tricks and it was amazing. It's important to not give up even though you know that you're international students and you are clearly at a disadvantage but always tell yourself you're not because now 
a lot of recruiters out there, they're not biased anymore towards local students. And it's just a matter of really showing yourself, be ready to put in a lot of effort because actually international students, yes, you are in a foreign land. So a lot of the things that local students have, you might not have. So it's okay, just go ahead, push it through. And if and it's also important to have a support group. That's what I feel. I feel like you're not alone in this journey and don't close yourself off to anyone. Be ready to open if you are struggling. Just let them know. Let them know that you're struggling because this way people will want to help you. If you don't ask, you don't speak, people don't know. And then you often just get stressed and then you eventually, you know, you say you're struggling, but you have not asked for help. So I feel like a lot of it is about yourself. A lot of effort is from you. And yeah, just never give up. That is really important.